with Elite Personal Fit. Welcome to our body split today. Today I focus chest arms, and we're gonna make use, guys, if you don't have a lot of equipment, it's not a big deal. You can use some basic household items for this. In fact, you only need a few items anyway. Uh, to start with today, you'll probably want an ab mat of some sort, ab mat, yoga mat, maybe even just a towel. We have several exercises on the floor, and that'll make that maybe a little more comfortable. If you've got dumbbells, dumbbells work great for this workout, and you don't need a bunch of them, okay? If you don't have any fitness equipment, so no dumbbells, barbells, anything like that, you could make use of some gallon jugs, and you can use those for resistance, okay? So I've got some over here, and I'll start with gallon jugs, and I may transition to dumbbells as we go through this, but you'll see the idea that that even if you have any equipment, you can still make use of some simple household items. All right. Guys, we have two circuits today. So it's not a, not a super long workout, um, but you kind of get out of this what you put into it. All right. Our first circuit, let me throw it in the screen so you can see it. Uh, we've got a wide and enclosed push-up. So it's kind of like a traveling push-up or to get that middle one in narrow. So we kind of hit the chest from a couple different angles. And with that, of course, that close one, um, we'll target a little more tricep with that too. All right, then we're gonna go underhand frontal raise, and then we're gonna do 21s. We're gonna cut the curl in half, and we're gonna do the bottom half of the curl for seven reps, then the top half for seven reps, and then seven full reps. Just a neat way to kind of kind of engage your bicep, uh, something maybe you're not doing regularly. So it kind of kind of splits that up. Um, I think you'll like them. If you haven't done them, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy them. So here we go, guys. Let's get started. Again, it's not a long workout. Again, uh, first circuit, we're gonna through, I think, three times. Next circuit, uh, we'll also run through, we'll talk about that when, when we get there, all right? So let's get these wide close push-ups. You can always go to the knees, okay, on these. And, I, and I'd like around five to eight in each direction. So you're, you're looking at at least 10 push-ups. So use the knees. On a rare occasion, listen, I have some clients that when they go do a push-up, uh, it's difficult on the floor with wrists. Um, so you could even elevate up and use like a chair or a bench if you need to do that, okay? So I'm gonna do traditional. Here we go, five to eight in each direction, all right? So I'll start with a regular push-up here, and we're gonna do a push-up. We're coming narrow. One, two, So that kind of gets the chest and <laughs> triceps work up a little bit. Next exercise, we went middle rest between these. So we're gonna move right along to our underhand frontal raise. Okay, so this involves the pecs a lot more than traditional frontal raise. So we're gonna go underhand, we're gonna converge them. Think about that chest. Okay, I'll sit these down. The next one, guys, 21s. Okay, so what you're getting, we cut the curl in half. Hey, barbells, guys, you have a barbell. It works great for these. All right, I'm gonna use some gallon jugs for this first round. And uh, I'm gonna do a little profile shot here. So. Guys, when you're holding gallon jugs, we have a couple. It's hard to supinate, so do the best you can, all right? And maybe more of a hammer, but uh, we'll see if there's three different positions. So, guys, we're gonna do the bottom half. Seven reps, we're coming up. One, two, three, four. This halfway up, five, six. Okay, now we do the top half. So, one, come halfway down, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now seven full. One, two, six, seven. All right. 
set these here. I shake them out. Move back to the push-ups. Okay. Wide and medium or wide and close. Um, Here we go. Okay, get some warmed up. I can feel those a little bit. Okay, underhand frontal raise. Here we go. Alright guys, now let's, uh, I'll just grab some dumbbells this round. Alright, so, bottom half for seven, here we go. Shake them out here, guys. We're going to pretty good little clip here. Get a sip of water if you need it. Before I hit round three here. Okay. Whoo! Underhand front raise.
All right, 21s, round number three. Here we go. Halfway up. Seven full. So first second, or first circuit, we ran through three times, trying to keep our rest to somewhat minimal. So we got through the relatively quickly. Second circuit. I'm gonna land mad out for this one. And if you have a bench, you could use on a bench. Is we're going to alternate. So we'll go right, left, and then together, and then we're gonna go left right together. All right, so we're looking around, I don't know, 10 of these or so, all right? Where single, single, one, single, single, two, okay? So again, guys, if you have weights, gallon jugs work fine. I'll start with gallon jugs. Squeeze the top. Okay, that was 10. You can feel those. Great little exercise for the pecs. Uh, next one is line tricep extension. Okay, so if you're grabbing uh, a dumbbell, make sure it's slide all over the heel and hand. Keep those arms back. Also, don't turn them at the top. So try to keep them as vertical as you can as you can really feel that engaging that tricep. All right? So we'll grab, we use the other jugs. You want your pinky up high. All right, so I've got these. I'm gonna angle back a little bit. Get about 15 of these before I come down. Down. And guys, what's great is the weights are pretty similar in these movements as you go through. You might have a slight, you have a lot of dumbbells, might vary, but if you only have a few dumbbells, you can get through this. Next exercise, guys, we're going flies. All right, so I'll grab these. If you're laying down on the floor and you grab your weights, don't start them out wide. Bring them in tight to your body, kind of squeeze them up a little bit, and then come up with them so you don't hurt the shoulders. Okay, make sure the elbows are soft. All right, so we're gonna come out, also give us one a big hug, and then squeeze in the other one. Two. Three. One.
Nicely done. We'll set those down. Okay, we're gonna stand up now. Because we have hammer curls next. So a little different hand position, especially if you're using dumbbells, okay? I mentioned with the 21 scaling jugs, sometimes it, it, it mimics kind of like hammer curl. We did 21s with those, so we broke the curl up. So now, I'll grab these. And we'll get the palms face each other. Now we're gonna come up towards your shoulder. For a second here. Round one is in the books. All right. Get a quick drink if you if you need that. I think I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water here. And then let's get on to round number two. Uh, I use gallon jugs first round. I think I'm gonna jump some dumbbells on this one, but again, if you don't have dumbbells, gallon jugs work fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have the alternate warm presses here. Right. So we'll come down. Let's go right into our, our tricep extension. So we're around 15. I'll use dumbbells on this round so you kind of see those two. So pinkies all the way up on these guys, right angle back. When I get to the top, the dumbbells will stay up one. Flies next.
Okay, let's get some curls in. Here we go. Okay, a little sip of water. That was round two. Okay, ready to start number three here. Get our ultimate presses in. Here we go. Catch your breath for a second. Again, I don't want to take too long of a break. Tricep extensions next. Guys, get what you can. You may be a little fatigued in this third round. Get what you can. 15 is kind of the goal, but based on your weight, that would be a little lower, a little higher. Feeling those, getting a little tired. Okay, next one we got the flies. All right, watch your form, watch your shoulders, don't strain them. Here we go, soft elbows as you come out, squeeze together.
and girls. Here we go. Okay, I'll set these back. Whew, okay. Hey, that was chest and arms for today. So not super long, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little under, but hopefully you can feel those pecs, those triceps, little bicep work. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness and we're bringing wellness.